Hey, what's up again, YouTube? I uh, wanted to make another build guide video. Uh, this one is going to be on the Syncretic Bow. Uh, this one uses a lot of nature damage, right? You're converting half your damage uh, to nature with an amber. Uh, and then also is going to leverage the finisher, the artifact rapier, uh, which kind of makes use of bleed damage. So um, lots of damage over time on this build. Thank you guys are going to like it. And if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. You guys definitely showed a lot of love on the Boltcaster video that I made, which is awesome. And I actually plan on making a follow-up video to that where I kind of go over some of the upgrades that I made uh, since then. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, next up in the video, I'm going to walk you guys through this build. Uh, I'll show you guys the gear that I'm wearing, the attributes that I run, and then the weapon perks that I'm using. Uh, so let's get started with going through the gear. Uh, perks you're going to be looking for on your armor is going to be nature harnessing, really, really good, uh, refreshing, health, enchanted ward is also an S tier perk, uh, freedom is pretty good for PvP. Um, you can see I've got elemental diversion, also an S tier perk, slash congestion, another S tier perk. Uh, build definer right here is the um, leather attuned pant or attuned leather pants, right? Um, these are really good because the well-rounded perk, you get plus 10 to all your attributes. And then I threw on nature harnessing as the, um, perk that I used on my upgrade or perk that I chose in my upgrade. Uh, footwear here. I'm just, you know, got some shoes with nature harnessing and refreshing. Um, if you're really, really rich though, definitely throw on the nature rune glass right to this gear. Um, so that you can get some extra nature damage, um, from that. Well, the uh, thing you all came here for is the Syncretic Bow. This bow comes, right, with Keenly Jagged and Enchanted. You can drop it anywhere in Brimstone. Uh, and then when you upgrade it in the Kiln to 700, you're going to want to choose the Arboreal Tumit perk. Uh, and then I put in the Amber, uh, Augmented Arboreal Gem here, right? So I'm converting half the damage to nature. Uh, it's also going to inflict poison, you know, the damage over time, which is really, really good. The second weapon that I'm using here is actually the finisher, uh, which is the rapier artifact. The reason why I like using this um, is because it's uh, perk finisher harmony, right? So you're going to deal 15% more damage to bleeding targets, which is really good because your bow has keenly jagged, right? Um, and then, you know, I've got my Arboreal Gambit gem here. Didn't want to put the amber in there. You totally can put an amber in here if you really want, but I kind of wanted to use this on other builds. So went with an opal with the boreal uh, rune glass comes with deadly flourish keen tondo and then i crafted the keenly empowered when i upgraded it to uh its final form heart rune i like using the brutal bio bomb uh specifically just to kill healers right it's got that um healing reduction of 50 percent and can keep you at range which is pretty nice pretty standard amulet here right divine health and thrust protection this ring is really important to get. You can craft it in the kiln. You want to upgrade it, make sure you get the nature damage on that. But it comes with hardy and bloodletting, which are both really good perks. Finally, uh, this earring. I just crafted this in the kiln, I think. Uh, but it comes with some decent perks, right? Healthy toast, refreshing toast, and nimble. Nimble is one of my favorite uh, perks to run for an earring. Um, you could get refreshing here instead of refreshing toast or something like that. Another good perk to pick up in your earring. Alrighty. Uh, next, we're going to run through the attributes that I'm running. Uh, the benefit of those attuned leather pants, right, is you get like, you know, 15 in strength and focus. So it's really easy just to throw another 10 and get the uh, 25 perk on strength. Kind of boost your uh, rapier damage, as well as I think this might apply to ranged attacks. I'm not 100% sure. That might just be a bug or a myth or something like that. But anyways, running about 375, 380 dex. About 100 int. Um, you can do 150 int to grab this elemental damage. I've definitely ran that before. Uh, shuffling some stuff around or whatever. Um, or you could even run 50 int. Up to you. Just to get the damage uh, to targets inflicted with damage over time. But definitely important to at least have 50 int in this build. Focus. I've got 15. You could totally pick up the 25 just to get the 5% CDR. Uh, and then con. I am running 150 here. I just run on my plus 48 con food on um, but 150 is right around where i'd like to be for my uh, pvp builds you shovel some stuff around you might be able to get to 200 but i don't know if it's really worth it you're in light you know uh next we're going to go through the weapon perks that i like using here 
Uh, first of which is going to be Poison Shot. And we've got Rain of Arrows, which is still bugged, but, you know, got to be the best skill uh, for AoE on bow. I'm not using the Hooked Arrows. You can, up to you. It's a little bit of a slow, whatever, right? But I uh, definitely want to get the Barbed Arrows that cause bleed. Uh, and then finally, Penetrating Shot. You can swap this for Explosive Arrow or even Rapid Shot if you really want to, but um, Vade Shot, eh. Rapid Shot, eh. I like um, just more damage here, right? And specifically ones that have like very little cast time. I find rapid shots cast time is just too much. I get stuck casting. I'm going to hide my camera and show you guys the perks that I'm running here on this right tree. Uh, I like running these like long range and aim true, air range, all that kind of stuff to get those finishing kills as people are running away, right? The long range heavy attacks um, just to finish kills. So... We like doing that. We got bullseye and finishing shot too. This is a must get. Definitely get finishing shot. Over on the left here, we got running headshot. If you don't, you know, want to try and hit headshots, you can always pick up uh, catch me if you can, which is good for PvP for sure, especially in the large scale ones. Closing in, got to get that um, CDR for hitting foes below 50%. Really good. Dodge and weave. I like this. You can totally swing archer speed if you want. Um, and then battle precision. Must get this right. This is. Definitely a must-have for this build. Debuff duration is lasting 20% longer. You're, you're doing bleeds, poisons, all that kind of damage over time. So really good. And then Mark, another uh, must-have for this build where you're going to deal 10% more damage with foes suffering from a debuff. Evasive Tactics, the only uh, you know mastery perk that I like to get in the bow tree. But um, definitely good because you're going to be doing a lot of dodge in this build too. All right, and uh, that's it for the build guide. Next, I'm just going to play um, some clips of me doing some PvP. I uh, did some arenas and some open world um, PvP and an influence race today, but I've been rocking this build for a long, long time. Definitely would highly recommend it. Uh, it's pretty easy to get off the ground, and it's a lot of fun. So.
Oof. Nice. Let's take a look at those stats though, right? Yeah, 1.1 mil player damage. Almost 1.2 damage, but yeah, that damage over time racks up big time. 19 kills, almost got 20 kills there.